Hey guys, back here today to make another flag. This one's a little bit different. I decided to do something the other day. I kind of had an idea of making a pink flag and I uh, run it by my wife and she thought it'd be a good idea. It's uh, made with the wood stain, the Minwax clear tint based wood stain. And this is a uh, pink rose. Actually, this is marshmallow I use for the white. And then I use pink rose for the pink. And that's all, that's the only color. Now, I did attempt one piece, uh, one strip with torch in it, just to see how it turned out. I thought that just made it look dirty. I sent a picture to my wife and she agreed. She said it made it just look dirty. It didn't really look good at all. So I didn't tint this by, by torching it. I didn't torch it at all. It is strictly stained and then a clear coat over it. Just the spar urethane on top of it, and it looks really good. Now, I did the white strips with the marshmallow. I did the pink strips with the pink rose, and then the stars I dremeled out just like I do all the others, and that's close enough to the white. I didn't try to color those. It's just the, the color of the wood kind of pops through the pink. So check this out. I'll show you how I did it. It's nothing special. It's just like all the other flags as far as putting it together. I kind of go through the process there, and then I'll show you what it looks like there at the end. Okay, here I'm just adding the stain to the boards and I'm just using an old brush. The brush is easily cleaned out with water. It is water-based stain. And after staining, I will let them sit for a little bit before I wipe them down with the old rag. One thing I did different here on this stained flag is I stained all sides of the boards. The reason I did that is because on my first stained flag, once I had it complete and finished, it looked great. We turned it around and I had splotches of stain here and there on the back. And it just wasn't that presentable. So I know you don't really see the back, especially when it's hanging up, but in delivery, when I'm handing it to someone or whatever, I mean, it just looks so much better when it's a little more presentable on the back. So that's the reason for that. Now, when you see it on the back, it, it looks like a flag pretty much. There's no stars and there's a couple strips, but it is stained all the way and it does look pretty good. Okay, first I'm adding tape here to the union to prevent the white from getting on the pink. And the white goes on just like the pink and the red and the blue. Uh, just wipes right on, wipes right off. And I am staining all sides of the boards just like I did with the pink so that when I am done, I do have more of a finished product on the back. And when you're staining the boards there with the union, kind of put your brush on top of the tape and kind of bring it away from the tape. If you brush toward the tape, you will push stain up under the tape and it will cross the line and kind of bleed over. And it's a little more difficult to deal with. If you pull it away, it'll leave more of a definite line there. All right, here you can see the back of the flag and it does look more presentable after staining all the boards. So I, I like the way I did that. And adding these strips, again, it's just like the other flags. I glue them, staple them, and they're good to go. Now the strips are longer here on this end. They are flush at the bottom side. I always make them flush on one side and uh, then I'll flip it over here shortly and then I'll cut those off with a jigsaw. Uh, I always clamp it really tight and Pull it together as tight as possible and now I'm going to tap it down and make sure they're all seated and all of the boards are kind of flush there and I'll be ready to cut those off okay I come outside to show you this one piece that I tried to torch and it just don't look crazy bad but I mean it just it looks dirty uh, I did stain the back side so you see there that's that's the color of it that it should be and then I torched it and it just doesn't look too good. That's it. That's what it looks like. If you want to do that, that's op absolutely an option. But, uh, you know, to us, it kind of looked dirty. Okay, here I've already marked the stars with a stencil. I'm simply following the lines with the 105 carving bit. It's pretty easy to see the pencil marks there on the pink. And again, I didn't add any color to the stars. I simply just carved them out and the color of the wood pops through there and is pretty close to the color of the stripes. All right guys, there you go. That's the finished product. That is the 19 and a half by 37 inch flag. That's my most popular size. Uh, the one laying in front of it there is the 26 by 47 inch flag. And you can see quite a bit of difference in size, but the 37 or 19 and a half by 37 is the most popular size. 
All right, guys, that's it. That's the pink flag that I was trying to think of earlier in the week, and I just could not picture it. I, I just wasn't sure if it was going to look okay. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I think it looks great. Now, again, that's the pink rose and the marshmallow. It's the Minwax color stain. When you pick it up at the store, you have to have them mix it for you. So you find that can, take it to them, and they'll mix it for you. Now, this flag, again, is for Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in October. That flag is going to my oldest daughter. She works in an elementary school here locally, and they are trying to raise money. I believe it's next week. They're going to have a walk, and they're selling a lot of items to raise money. So that's where that flag is going. And again, in memory of my oldest sister, Barbara Ann Thornburg. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.